Okay, Madam President, Ms. Terry Denson, here we go. You remember when we did this particular palm tree? I think I did it for last year or the year before as a Florida Watercolor Society demo over at the convention and uh, everybody wanted to know, well, how do you make the strokes? Because of time constraints, what I'm gonna do is not paint the whole piece, but show you how to do the most important part and that's doing the tree trunk and doing all of the fronds with this knife. Yeah, with this knife. All you need are basically this knife, three brushes, a number four, number six, maybe a number eight, somewhere in that range. But this is the baby right here. Now you see how this knife slopes from the top and from the bottom? That's the best kind, the kind that's straight out on the top and this comes to a real point. Now nah, it'll tear the paper up just a little bit. So let's give this one a shot. I'm gonna move this, put it right here. And now what I did is I made very light pencil sketch and this is all you need to make. I'm hoping you can see this okay. You can see the pencil sketch on that's That's basically all you need. There's hardly any drawing, if you want to call it drawing, on here. But let's let's do the, the trunk of the tree first, and then we'll go from there. I made a little pile of paint here, basically using burn umber, a little bit ultramarine blue, just to kind of knock it down a little hunch. And we're going to make this is the palm tree. Now you, you see me just structuring the palm tree but you've got to decide the proportions of which you think it should be. I'm putting plenty of pigment because I want to move that pigment with the knife. All right. Light source is coming from the top right to the bottom left. So here we go. I'm going to make it big enough to where you can really see the difference. So now I'm just going to load it up with pigment. And this is the trunk. As if you didn't already know. Okay, get that pigment in there. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, if you don't have the pigment, you can't move it. Now with the knife, you don't want to come this way. You're going to cut through the paper. You want the knife backwards. Now, I would generally hold it here so my hand would be over it. I'm going to try to move it back to show you and I also am going to move this because I'm going to be swiping this direction and this is how easy that's why I don't take my paper to any board I just like to be able to use this some double-sided tape at the four corners here and this is what I'm talking about and I may have started it a little bit too soon I'm hoping you can see this. I'll start down here and go up so you can see it a little bit better. As I'm moving the pigment, I'm pulling it to the dark side of the tree and I'm just leaving it there. There you go. I'm taking my time so that you all can see exactly how I do it. I'm just moving. You don't have to press hard. Just hard enough to move a little pigment. That's basically it. And there you go. There it is. There's the trunk of the tree, which is the simplest of them all. But the balance of it's not bad either. So what we're going to do is take some more of this brown, kind of coconut trunk look gonna put some more of it right through here and I'm gonna get a little bit deeper with pigment this is the head of the the trunk so that the fronds can spring off of it and I'm gonna add a little color to it give it a little smudge there a little yellow ochre a little pyro rubin actually PR 264 wonderful color there are two of those got to wait for this to dry you can get a permanent alizarin crimson which is also PR 264 and I'm going to get to pigments 
the chemical makeup of pigments, single digit pigments in another video. Please look forward to that. As boring as it might sound, it's magic when you use formulation for your primary colors, basically. Okay, let's see if this is dry enough. Now I'm gonna see a little glisten. Just gotta dry a little bit more till that glisten kinda gets a not a real matte finish, but not quite as glistening, so to speak. There you go. And you see what I'm doing? Don't worry about an overrun of anything. They'll be covered with palm fronds. There you go. That's the top of the palm tree. Okay, so now you have this. This will be water. This will be sort of the beach, the sky behind it. Now we're going to put some fronds on. So I've uh, taken the opportunity to mix some green so that we don't do a lot of mixing on here for this moment because you're going to see all the mixing again on a future video that's going to start from the beginning the entire piece it takes about 45 minutes uh, to an hour so that will be a long video but that's what we're going to do we'll do a good one this is strictly for your entertainment and uh here's a palm frond whoa there we go load it up with pigment we're going to do the same thing here that we did here except different that's cajun for it'll be close we're going to do the same thing but different <laughs> remember that here we go low pigment on the end now i'm going to be turning my piece again because I'm going to be using my knife and I want that twist. I'm rolling over all in wrist. I'm pulling and rolling over and my knife is going to be sloped against the... I'm going to get it to where you might be able to see it a little better. I'm going to turn it as I get closer up here. Can you see the wind? Can you feel the wind? You feel that wind just pushing that tree over the side. It was dry here. We'll wait and we'll put some more pigment here and get some more of the fronds going the opposite direction. Okay, let's um, put just a touch of water, just a touch in here again. We're going to do another front. We're going to come off here and come down to the bottom. You can put these fronds any way you want. This is your painting, and that's what you need to do. You need to make it yours. And often I get asked, well, what kind of palm is this? And there's only one answer, and it's been the same ever since. I started doing this. This palm is a rizzo palm. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, rizzo palm. You know, you, don't, you know, just do your thing, customize it, make it yours. Now, I started a little sooner, so I'm getting a little bit more out of the fronds here. I don't want this section to dry up too quick and I'm not pressing down on the paper real hard I'm just keeping the blade of the knife where it needs to be and I'm hoping my hand doesn't blot out too much of this because you got to have your hand close to it to be able to do what I'm doing there we go now let's do another palm frond and then we will uh, how about this one coming out this way and gonna swoop around this will be gonna put a lot of pigment in here 
So that's why I told you not to worry about the head. We went past the edge. Yeah, you're going to cover all those things with the palm fronds. So don't be afraid of just enjoying it. Okay, we've got a lot of pigment on there, I think. Same thing. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to turn it to where I want to bring those fronds coming up from the bottom. And I'm going this way, and I'm going this way. And I'm coming back. As long as you see dark in here, you can move that pigment. Okay, now let that kind of tack up a little bit and and I'll show you now what I meant about going back in some areas if you don't think you got the right coverage from the front I put a little water in here we're gonna come just right up in here and these are actually the stems that springs off from the head but we're gonna use a little more pigment for these I'll leave that brush there I'm going to turn this around again and I'm going to come in and get some more fronds to cover this area and I'm going to get some more fronds to cover this area look at that motion so let's pull it down here and voila there you go i hope you all enjoyed this little short segment uh, of this palm tree you just put in the sand the water a little sky and i normally start with the sky first and then i'll put this on top of it but this is basically the technique the only other things left to do come in and shade and shadow and i use a a pigment by the name of neutral tint and I'll pop it out come in keep some of that light color where the light is hitting and all I'm doing is basically showing you where the light source is not hitting put a few little strokes across here little shadows look how it popped that out a little bit more down at the bottom there would be a shadow here going out across the sand. So that's basically how it's done. You all enjoy it and uh, have a nice year, at least what's left to it, Miss uh, Madam President. And if you need any more help, just let me know. I'll be glad to try. Thank you. Bye.